Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Wednesday the 10th of March 2021. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed. Okay, <clears throat> let's see what wonderful message Spirit has for us for the middle of the week. <laughs> okay, here we go. Thank you. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends? Okay, for Wednesday, the 10th of March, 2021. Thank you. What do my friends need to know from the Good Tarot for Wednesday? The 10th of March 2021. Thank you. Okay. Your first card is the 10 of fire, followed by a major arcana number two, the high priestess. And finishing with the Ten of Air. So we have two tens either side of this high priestess. Uh, ten. Um, reaching the peak. The ultimate. Um, culmination. Um, and ten also the number of um, endings and beginnings. Your first ten is the Ten of Fire. Um, this is... Spirit reminding you, um, I think yesterday we had a message of um, decluttering. Um, this is being um, re in reinforced, I am hearing today. Uh, so Spirit really wanting you to declutter. This could be, um, you know, maybe just decluttering your wardrobes, your drawers, or maybe, in the, you know, sorting out the kitchen. Um, but also it can be decluttering the mind, uh, creating some brain space, I am hearing. Um, decluttering, um, it's really good to do, um, you know, getting rid of old stuff, maybe things that you haven't used for the longest time, you could put for charity, um, maybe or, or give them away to someone who, who would use them or needs them and can use them. Um, but I'm really picking up on um, creating brain space, emptying the mind um, and using the energy of fire to do that. Um, and fire, um, it, it can be um, a nice warming energy, but it can be destructive. So it's using this fire energy for your own benefit. So getting fired up today about creating space, whether that is space um, in your in, in your material world, in your reality, or whether that is space in, in your mind. Um, you will know uh, what you need to do today. Um, I'm drawn to uh, the brain space thing, creating space in your mind, um, getting rid of old, stale, negative uh, ways of thinking so that you can um, fill that new space with good thinking, good thoughts, positive thoughts. Oh, OK. Next we have Major Arcana, number two, the High Priestess. Major Arcana, speak of your inner world, your inner knowing, your major inner knowledge. Oh, excuse me. And the High Priestess. She's moon energy, lunar energy. So moon energy, um, really important at this moment. Um, the new moon is on the 13th. Uh, and the High Priestess. 
she is about deep inner knowing, deep intuition. She is asking you to use your inner wisdom. Um, she represents the the gateway um, to the veil. Um, and so she she is about dreams and vision. So again, maybe there are um, some of you going to be having um, dreams um, that will be lifting the veil for you. I am hearing um, this is real divine feminine energy. Um, it's not gender specific. When I talk about feminine and masculine, uh, these are the two aspects that you hold uh, that reside within you. Um, Positive and negative, dark and light, masculine, feminine, it's all the same. <laughs> um, but this is divine feminine energy. So this is where you are going to be really dipping into your subconscious mind, I am hearing. Uh, and using the moon energy, lunar energy, uh, really going to be helping you to... The wonderful number of options, choices, decisions, relationships, partnerships. It's also the number of experience. And so this is something that you are going to be experiencing, I am hearing. Um, and it could well be coming off you creating the space in your mind to be filled with dreams um, from the high priestess. Ooh, okay. And next you have the Ten of Air. This is you. <sighs> Liberating yourself, I am hearing. Um, turning negativity into lightness, I am hearing. Um, with the Ten of Air, it's the, it's the same as the Ten of Swords we see in other cards, but um, in the Good Tarot, the swords are feathers. Um, so this is you um, making light of situations, not getting pulled into negativity at all. Um, so this is you using this divine feminine energy, making light of things, um, feeling lighter enlightened Ooh. <laughs> it's all going on today my friends uh, and and i see you now uh looking up rather than looking down feeling down down in the dumps um you are lifting your eyes to new horizons i am hearing you are seeing things differently these swords now turning to feathers you making light of situations wow um You've really been working on yourselves um, and, and changing yourselves from inside out. And it's showing up, my friends. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, OK. Energy Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor. Is the message from spirit thank you <clears throat> let's lower the camera there we go and your energy oracle card is 41 seventh chakra archangel uriel four and one adding up to five the number of conflict crisis chaos but also transformation and change and this is what you are doing my friends you are making huge changes um within yourself that are now going that are now showing up on on the outside oh okay 41 Spirit connections, intuition and inspiration. The beautiful angel Uriel, also called the fire of God, wears a brilliant crystal crown, vibrating with a passionate connection to the divine. 
She brings greater power to your seventh energy centre, which is called the crown chakra and is located at the top of your head. This card indicates an open and free-flowing channel of information and inspiration from the wonderful beings in the spirit world. This could also be a time of great intuition for you and guidance from your higher awareness. So allow yourself, sorry, so allow yourself to quiet your mind and listen. Now is a great time to get connected. The assistance from spirit is great and whether it's the presence of an ascended master, a powerful angel like Uriel or just a loving friend or family member in spirit, their love and willingness to assist is always there. They even open you to the Archaic records or a liar consciousness. The storehouse of all information this connection is open now and you will find that your own spirit and the spirits of those around you will be able to provide the answers you seek and the blessings you desire and deserve. Your affirmation is, my seventh chakra is open to its perfect healthy state. Love and inspiration from spirit and my own intuition flow fully to me now and will do once you've decluttered. <laughs> so that's why this energy is here. Uh, and I love that this card, that this uh, seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, has actually come underneath this ten of fire. Um, you're connected. Your connection growing deeper day by day. Um, and, and the flow, there is a real flow here of of spirit, of a, of a connection. I don't know, I was saying with the veil uh, and you being connected with all of the spirit beings behind the veil. Oh, oh, it's like you've gone through the gateway of initiation, my friends. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Oh, more tingly. Whew, okay. <clears throat> Next, we will have Mystical Shaman uh, by Colette Baron Reed and Friends. Is the message from spirit for my wonderful friends for Wednesday the 10th <laughs> of March 2021 what do my wonderful friends need to know thank you okay your mystical shaman card is, oh, the owl, <laughs> oh, protecting you um, from any nightmares or any bad dreams. Wow, number 39, the owl. There we go. And of course, three and nine, adding up to the wonderful number 12, uh, and one and two, uh, three. Um, oh, this is you really being tuned in. Mind, body, spirit, thoughts, words, actions. You totally being your genuine, true, authentic selves. Oh, wow. And thank you for showing up that way. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Owl is the master of the night. She can see situations with perfect clarity, more so when it's dark, and is able to discern truth when others are sightless. She helps you find your light and your lightness in the darkest moments of your life and to embrace the night as your ally. Owl can bring you messages from the invisible world. She opens your ears so that you may hear the voices of the ancestors and you may acquire their wisdom and make it your own. 
Look around you. Notice every detail. Find the hidden messages brought to you by Owl. Do not shoot the messenger. Be grateful to the friend who shows you what you have not wanted to see until now. Observe all the facets of the diamond without judgment. And remember that the facets you dislike are often mirrors of the parts of you that you do not want to recognise. Do not be afraid of the truth, as it will become your compass. Owl guards against self-deception and insists that your motives be pure and transparent to all. What is the message that you are not hearing? The situation that you are not seeing with clarity? Owl invites you to wait patiently. Bide your time until it is right to act. Then do so decisively with no hesitation or remorse. Oh, this is a deep message, my wonderful friends. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on Ruby now, the kind red spirit. Here we go. What is the message from Ruby, the kind red spirit, for my wonderful friends? For Wednesday, the 10th. Thank you, Ruby. Okay, your card from Ruby, the kind red spirit is Oh, 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 oh yes 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 oh look at you friends wow this is all about your glorious expansion spread your wings and soar share your message and shine your light and show the world exactly what you are made of oh look at all of this beautiful pink unconditional love Look how light you are, Ruby is saying. Oh, spread your wing or oh, spread your tiny wings and fly away. We've got that song back again, <laughs> Laura. <laughs> I'm sure was it some one of your relations or somebody that you knew that actually was the singer of that song? I can't remember who it was now. Okay. Well, let's we're a little wonky today, aren't we? That's better. Okay, so let's get the message from Ruby, the kind red spirit. <clears throat> and Ruby says, You are brilliant, talented, and it is now time to soar into your success. Your soul is calling you to share your message, shine your light and make a difference. Have the courage to do the things you're scared of. Stretch out of your comfort zone and into your potential. Although you may feel some discomfort at first, you will soon feel like this Pegasus, flying out of the clouds and into brighter skies. Do not allow anyone or anything to clip your wings, keep you grounded or make you feel less than you really are. Others may feel uncomfortable as you expand. They are just anxious that you will leave them behind. Instead of shrinking yourself to appease their fears, stay true to your path and continue soaring higher, shining brighter. By doing this, you will show them how to do the same. It is up to them to have the courage to follow. You came here for greatness and it is now time to show the world your magic. And I will add to that, as Ruby is saying, it's now time to show the world exactly who you are, what you are made of, really shining your bright little lights, radiating it out into the universe. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, here we go. Whoop flew out again and we have another key and where would like this key to go 
Oh, I'm the High Priestess. Okay. Whew. Unlocking, I am hearing. Um, messages waiting to be given to you. Um, a door waiting to be opened. This gateway, this veil waiting to be lifted. Um, definitely clear some space, my friends. Uh, as I say, it can, it can be really feeling good when you you know you declutter your space um, or your work area um, but also decluttering the mind um, so that all of this that is waiting to come through with this divine feminine energy um, messages dreams visions wisdom um, just waiting to, to be given to you I am hearing um, and when you receive it oh boy you're going to feel lighter you're going to feel enlightened uh, you're going to spread your wings and soar to higher realms I am hearing wow 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 well thank you for all of your likes your shares welcome new subscribers thank you so much for your support you have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits thank you too for your warm kind encouraging comments and emails i really enjoy receiving them so do keep them coming and so my wonderful friends may favor be with you all as i wish you a joyful a peaceful and a truly blessed day. And until next time, my friends, goodbye.